Hey guys, Mark here, Rainer Wars for Christ. Welcome back. Folks, I have a message for you guys. <clears throat> How many of you guys have been out there experiencing an intense battle that's been with the enemy? Um, you know, it's, it's coming out left, right, center. The enemy's been probably trying to use other people to come against you or, or just um, in various ways. The attacks have been coming from different, from different areas. Well, I have, a, um, you know, what I like to do is like to um, encourage my brother and sisters and, and try to, you know, in this battle that we're in, <clears throat> you know, prayer is extremely important. So I wanted to share a scripture that I, that I pray uh, that uh, will be a blessing to all of you uh, that are currently going through probably, a, I'll call it um, spiritual warfare that's been going on. And... You've been saying to yourself that you know you, maybe you may not may not know what to pray for or how to pray. You know, folks, this is why I love the Book of Psalms uh, because, folks, um, David, you know, um, he was under a lot of pressure, warfare, all kinds of stuff, and and many of these psalms that were that 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 are here was his him expressing himself to the Lord. And folks, what better way to um, to pray than to pray the Word of God itself? So, for all my brothers and sisters who are out here, who, um, like I said, are undergoing a tough spiritual battle, I encourage you to pray Psalm 27. Psalm 27 is what I encourage you guys to pray. And I'm going to pray it through and uh, make a comment, and we're going to end the video. But it's a powerful psalm that you can go ahead and pray. This is what it says, folks. This is what it says. And, and folks, you just pray it as a prayer. Father God, I'm lifting up Psalm 27 before you. For it is written, <clears throat> The Lord is the light of my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked came against me, to eat up my flesh, they stumbled. They stumbled. My enemies and my foes, they stumbled and fell. Though an army may encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. You know, folks, when you have a lot of, you know, um, you just feel like a lot of times that you're getting attacked by all, from all sides and stuff like that. <clears throat> Agents of the enemy are trying to come against you, meaning, you know, people that don't know the Lord, that the enemy's manipulated to come, and it just seems like arrows are coming from all sides. That's what it says. <laughs> Though an army may encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. The war may rise against me. In this, I will be confident. Verse 4. One thing I have desired of the Lord that I will seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Where will we dwell, folks? Where will we dwell? That I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. Folks, in the time of trouble, in that time of trouble, in that difficult time, in that time or a difficult season that may be going in, that you may be in right now. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret place of his tabernacle, he shall hide me. He shall set me up upon a rock. Verse 6. And now, my head shall be lifted up above my enemies all around me. Where will your help be lifted up? It says, And now my head shall be lifted up above my enemies all around me. Therefore, I will offer sacrifices of joy in his tabernacle. I will sing yea. I will sing yes. I will sing praises to the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice. Have mercy also upon me and answer me. 
when you said seek ye, when you said seek my face, my heart said unto you, your face, Lord, will I seek. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You have been my help. Do not leave me, nor forsake me. We want God's presence with us at all times. Mm. Do not leave me, nor forsake me, O God of my salvation. When my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. You know how some people, folks, in this walk with God, can be close friends, family members, have abandoned? When my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take then the Lord will take care of me. Verse 11, teach me your way, O Lord, and lead me in a smooth path because of my enemies. Do not deliver me to the will of my adversaries. For false witnesses have risen up against me, and such that breathe out violence. I would have lost heart unless I believed that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Verse 14, wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen that heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. And folks, no matter what you find yourself, no matter what situation or circumstance you may be in right now, no matter how, the, how difficult it may be, continue to keep your faith, hope, and trust in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. God's timing is perfect, folks. Perfect. And sometimes what we have to do is just wait on Him. Continue to stand and wait on Him. And know that God is never late and that your breakthrough is at the door. Share, like, subscribe. Leave a comment. See you in the next video.